Lawler, a Lawler trumpet. Everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I'm in my back room here at the shop. It's after hours, but I'm getting some videos done. This is, uh, if you come to our Kansas City shop, you'll be able to see a whole new layout here in our testing rooms, which has a ton of instruments, as you can see. Lots of horns, and that's just one wall. There's a whole other wall with more horns over there, horns over there, horns over there. There's horns everywhere. So this is so much fun. Thanks for watching these videos, and of course, please hit that subscribe button to stay always updated on our new offerings. This horn came in on consignment. It's a Lawler Model T. Now, if you're not familiar with Lawler, trumpets. Roy Lawler, I think he got his start at Osmond Music back in the 80s, uh, and then moved to Florida. I knew him when I worked at the Disney College Band. I actually owned a Lawler. Um, it was a great trumpet, a fantastic trumpet, and he's made amazing trumpets throughout the years. He's no longer making trumpets, so if you're new to the trumpet game, you might not know that name. He makes trombones primarily now. Um, this one is made in one of his Tennessee shops. He had some uh, locations in Florida and then eventually moved closer to where he wanted to live and make his horns. Uh, it's perfect, a one-man shop and does incredible work. This horn is called the Model T. The Model T was his production model trumpet, like an all-around trumpet with a bunch of cool features. Let me show you some of them. First and foremost, you'll see that this horn has a rounded reversed clip tuning slide crook with a single brace. That is great to a motto style water keys there. It's a large bore. I don't know if you'll be able to see the large bore there. Um, and I think the large bore is around 464 in this term. So it's a little bit larger than a traditional Bach or Yamaha large, but not as large as the Adams large. This has his 1A lead pipe. It's a right down the middle lead pipe. It, the blow characteristic to me feels very similar to a Bach 25 uh, in a reverse nature. This also has nice stress-free bracing, so you can see it there, and you can see the second brace here. Now this one is used, It you can see somewhere, check out the pictures to see the full details of this horn, but he doesn't make trumpets anymore. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, these are the fantastic gets and valves. So you've got great valves, great lead pipe, beautiful sounding trumpet, Primarily, someone who buys this horn is probably going to be the jazz soloist, but it has more functionality than you would think. So let me play some stuff on it for you. It maintains a beautiful core, it's slightly warm, uh, slightly, a little diffused, but only because I'm choosing to have it diffused. I think if you push it a little bit more, you can get it bright. So here's something, uh, let's play Halsey Stevens. very nice. Like I said, it's still leaning towards the jazz side of things, and it's a really nice commercial horn too. If you put in a lead mouthpiece, I have our 3 ES2 here. This, this is nice and fun and crisp, and it adds nice richness, so. Oh, let me turn that up a little bit and down a little bit, sorry. 
There we go. A rare bird indeed. A really nice playing trumpet. It's priced to sell too. Check it out in the listing. The listing will be in the description. And again, thanks so much for watching these videos. We appreciate you so much. Hit that subscribe button right there. Stay up to date with us. Hang out with us sometime at Casey. We'd love to show you around. Take care and thanks again. Cheers.